only an hour and a half from Arches National Park, there is a place unlike anything you have ever seen. When you visit Goblin Valley State Park, you'll be able to immerse yourself in a landscape filled with hoodoos, which due to their strange shapes are often referred to as goblins. Visitors to the park are able to hike unobstructed through the maze-like corridors of these sandstone formations and canyons. I'll steal the uh, quote from someone else. They say that Mother Nature has uh, played favorites on Utah, and Utah State Parks is, is a recipient of that. You know, you go to some of these locations and you see the park through the eyes of a four-year-old for the first time, it's, it's magical. Uh, maybe it's that family that comes out and says, we can go down in there? And yeah, you're gonna be able to walk down in there in and out through the goblins. Behave yourself and be respectful. You can go down in there. And so your eyes are gonna get a different look and you're gonna go, whoa, this is cool. My name is Jim Wells. I'm the park manager here at Goblin Valley State Park. I've been around Utah for seven years now and a lot of that's been right here at Goblin Valley. You can pick a direction, look all around you. You can go in that direction and find something interesting. You, you don't have to stick to predetermined paths. You don't have to go to specific parks. You can just go out in the wilderness and find something nice. The Valley of Goblins, of course, is the most unique part of this park. It's one of the world's largest concentration of hoodoo formations anywhere. We do let you play in it freely, so you can just pick a direction, you just go. You just find something that looks neat, and you explore it. The campground is unique in that there are actually goblins in it, so you can camp around them. It's not quite as extensive as this valley here, but there are still a few. And with the towering cliffs, you get amazing light. You do get shade in the evening as the sun goes down, and it's just a really nice place. Uh, the yurts, we do have the first yurts of the Utah State Park system. They, they're they modeled after uh, Mongolian tents. So you can come out here, you can spend the night in a giant tent. We do have air conditioning, we do have heat. There's some electricity in there. We do provide you with a grill and just be set aside from the rest of the campground. It's kind of your private place. These are hoodoos like you'd find in, in Bryce Canyon, but they're smaller, they're more stunted. They are called goblins because back in 1949, 1950, when people were first discovering them, they, Lord of the Rings was pretty big. So goblins, that became the name instead of Mushroom Valley was one of the competing names. About 180 million years ago, 170 million years ago, right in there, uh, if you were standing where we are now, you would be standing in the middle of a massive tidal flat at the edge of what geologists now call the Sundance Sea, which came in from uh, the Pacific Northwest and created a bit of an ocean right here. The tidal flats, of course, those river channels, as they go into the ocean, they change over time. So when there was water there, you get the hard mudstone caps that you see on the goblins. Uh, it was condensed mud under the water. When the tidal flats moved a little bit, uh, it was more just blowing sand. We were at the edge of a desert. So what that creates are layers of this entrada sandstone with the mud cap forming the hard layer, which creates an umbrella over the stalks of the, the softer siltstone below. When rain and wind erode all the stuff around them, you get these mudstone capped goblins. And this layer is 430 feet thick. We only see a part of it here. So even though occasionally goblins will fall, that mudstone cap can then create a new umbrella for the stuff underneath it. It can actually come back to life and that will continue for several million years. And the geology that helped form that, it is incredible. We get to view that end result. And there are three valleys there at Goblin Valley State Park. Uh, and, and so you can discover, you can discover those, those, those right up close, some of those personal hoodoos. Then you get back into the, to, to the far wall and you've got the high cliffs and you can see where the entrada, when the rain comes and it kind of just flows and, then, and, and it dries there. It's just really fantastic. We do have eight miles of mountain biking trails. They're not through the Valley of Goblins. Uh, there are no wheeled vehicles or wheeled equipment allowed in there. But where they are, are up on the mesa top on the west side of the park. But now we've transformed that mesa into eight miles of incredibly scenic bike trails. They're not very difficult. It's a relatively flat area. You get views both into the Valley of Goblins from above. You get views of the Henry Mountains to the south. You get views of Wild Horse Butte up close. You, you actually ride right up to it. And you can see as far away as the LaSalle Mountains in Moab. So yeah, it's very nice up there. So the Centerfell swells. We are not in it. We are the gateway to it. So our rangers, we do know all about the swell. We explore it on our days off. Uh, there are dozens of canyons just in the immediate area you can go and have fun in of all levels of difficulty. There's a lot to see that you could spend weeks exploring the swell just by itself. Spend a day at Little Wild Horse Canyon, a world famous slot canyon that is not very difficult, that is only about six miles away. And then once you've done that, it depends on what you're interested in. There are uh, dirt bike trails in the Centerfell Swell. There are hundreds of miles of OHV tracks in the Centerfell Swell of all levels of difficulty. So there is, I mean, 70 by 100 miles 
So it's a huge area uh, that you can just explore at your leisure. Uh, you, can, you can go down into the goblins, you can discover, you can take pictures, you're going to be able to uh, picnic, stargazing. We're a, a, it's, a, it's a dark sky designated park campground. We have uh, yurts, mountain biking. There are slot canyons nearby. That's a wonderful base camp uh, to spend some time in. You should come here because not many other places let you explore like we do. You will see something very unique that extends for miles that you can just explore depending on your energy levels, your adventure levels, and what your family wants to do. You can just go out there and see it. It's no wonder that people from all over the world make the journey to this remote park. From exploring the hoodoo-covered landscapes, biking amongst the goblins, and exploring the ancient canyons of the surrounding San Rafael Swell, Goblin Valley is your base camp for an unforgettable desert adventure. Do you want to learn about more amazing Utah places to visit? Utah Explored is your personal tour guide to all the amazing places, unique activities, and one-of-a-kind destinations that only Utah has to offer. Each week, we take you on a guided tour of places you can only experience here in Utah. Check out our other videos and watch full episodes free at utahexplored.com.